Okay. I figured it out. You go to Amazon.ca. You go to your account. You go to Content and Devices. You go over to Settings. And then here, where it says Country Settings, for whatever reason, it had US. So I had to click Change. And then I had to add a, uh, like a Canadian account in here. So my address and everything. So I did that. It switched to Canada. And now we go back over here. Okay, we are back over here. And we can go to TV shows. Okay, back to the Grand Tour. Nope, still didn't work. Okay, so that still didn't work. But now with this being done, I can stream from my phone. Okay, so on my phone we can go to Prime Video and we can go Grand Tour. Okay, so now here we can watch it on the phone or I can watch it on the Fire Stick. And now it works. So, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this thing. But like, it works totally fine if you cast from your phone. Yeah, totally fine. I don't get it. So, once I got that all figured out with the, uh, the region thing, sending it to Canada and then being able to uh, cast from my phone on the Prime Video app to the Fire TV stick. I couldn't figure out the app thing still. I was still going crazy trying to figure that out. And I ended up going to uh, Amazon uh, customer support. I went on the chat thing there and then uh, the guy there told me that the reason you can't use the remote on the Fire, uh, the Fire TV stick is because it's region locked to Canada but it still accepts casting fine. So because I have the Canadian app, which is unlocked in Canada, I can cast to the device, but I can't use the device because it's the US version of the app, which I don't have access to. That's why it doesn't work. But for the apps downloading, it goes under the same principle where I can't access the app store on the uh, Fire TV stick because it's a US app store. But the, because the apps aren't region locked, I can just go to amazon.com like the, the US one, Amazon.com, and I went to Apps and Games, typed in YouTube, and then you can just download this for free, um, which you just click like download or whatever, and it's already done, I already did this. Uh, all it does is it just adds it to your account, and then once it does that, it allows your Canadian account to download off of the US App Store, so then you can go back on the Fire Stick and you can download the apps just fine, like nothing's nothing's wrong. So you, d you only have to do this once just to activate your account to download on the US App Store. Now that that's done, I can download the YouTube app, I can cast to it just fine, like nothing happened. It's, it's basically a Chromecast now, but I can stream Amazon Prime Video. Okay, so now you can see it's downloading apps. Got Netflix going, already got YouTube on there. So after that little fix that he showed me, it uh, downloading apps. Just finished, okay. Alright, now that it's done, Netflix works, and YouTube works. Look at that. Let's see if there's not English Canada. That's it. So I'll pick that one, do the update, and then uh, after the update, then we can put Canada. Who are these people? Why are you just suggesting them? It's not installing the update. But then this takes.
takes forever. Now the update's done. Go back. And reset. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of funny how, even though you can't buy these in Canada, and they don't support them in Canada, they have English Canada. Anyway, now that it's updated, we did the restart, and now we can do English Canada. So it turns yeah, out all this, you, you can actually just the hit the next button and skip everything. Awesome. Yeah, let's go to the apps. Now that my account is all ready to go. Well, I guess Netflix is right there, so let's grab that one. <clears throat> oh, look at that, it works. You got an app. Woo! YouTube. Decent. Netflix. And YouTube. All right. We are good to go. Now Alyssa can sign into all this. And hers is ready. All right, so this is where we're at. TV shows. So we got the apps to work. Go here. Now we're going to get error 5505. Okay. Not. Apparently it doesn't even want to load the page. Oh, there we go. Yeah, error 5505. Now we're going to go back. Go back again. Go over to uh, apps. I'm going to go down. I don't think I signed into Netflix yet on this, but... Okay. Open YouTube app. Okay. Close off. Loading YouTube. And where are we here? What's going on? Sexiest male vocalist riff off. Okay. I'll say it, Reg, I was, uh, I wanted to get a Whew, okay, that's too spicy for me. But anyway, you can see that it works. Um, now, the thing here is we go to the phone and go to YouTube. I mean, just like pick first video and the cast icon. What? Come on. Cast icon. What is this doing? I can't. Okay. Oh, they changed the color. It's in the middle. Anyway, there it is. We can just cast straight to it. Just like a, a modern, like, Another thing is if we go so, home. Uh, All the way back. We can play this video. And we can. Where'd it go? Oh, this is so messed up right now. There we go. Cast. We can still go to the Fire Stick without even having the app open, so it acts exactly like a Chromecast. It does the same thing with Netflix, too. Um, but here is how we fix the Prime Video thing. So we can just go here. This is what just wasn't working. And we will watch on the Fire Stick. So we can just go here. And now it's loading on the Fire Stick. 
this is content that it just said wasn't going to work with 5505, which is a location error. Um, but yeah, that's it. Got it working. That's as good as it gets. You have to use your phone for everything, basically. Just take this remote and just throw it away. You don't need it. Just use your phone with everything. Use it just like a Chromecast, except it actually has uh, Prime Video support this time. That's pretty much it. Turn that off. Alexa, lights on. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's it. Oh. You just have to use the uh, the Prime Video app to actually uh, play videos on it, which is really stupid because you could do all of this with a Chromecast if the app just allowed you to cast to a Chromecast. So that's pretty much what the Fire uh, TV stick is. It's just a Chromecast that requires significantly more support to getting it all working. You have to do a lot more. It took me like two hours the first time. I think the second time it only took me like an hour. A lot of it was waiting time, but still it sucks. Chromecast, you just plug in, you connect it to Wi-Fi and it's good. So that's where we are with that. And I have a lot of videos to start editing. Yep. Okay, we're gonna have fun stuff. Anyway, like, dislike, subscribe, share. I don't know. Not having luck with these right now. That stupid phone too. That that's another thing we'll get into. That's what happens if you play VR too much on your Pixel. The vibrator comes loose. And I don't know. When I finish that video, I'll put a link down in the description so you can figure out what that is about.